When I first started using Notion, I thought it was quite a complicated software. A lot of other YouTubers would be showing off their high-level productivity setups with interactive tables and fancy integrations, which would leave me feeling overwhelmed. So this video is going to be discussing the complete basics of Notion and getting you comfortable with using Notion. So let's start off with actually saying what is Notion? Well, Notion at its core is a note-taking app. You can write notes, make bullet points, and make different headers to separate the different sections that you have. However, it's a much more powerful tool than a normal note-taking app. The best way of describing it is imagine a website. A website has different pages, subsections, and integrations between all the different structures on the site. If you're building a website, you can edit these pages, and there's no code required as modern website builders don't require any coding knowledge. Notion is like this. It's a simple but powerful app that can help users who are both beginners and professionals. As a student, it's a great tool as it's free. It has ready-made templates which help you save precious time. And you can write great notes using the toggle feature, which is unique to Notion. So now that you know a small amount about Notion, Let's dive in and discuss how you should be using Notion. So to get started with Notion, you're going to have to sign up with an account. But it's relatively straightforward, so I'm not going to go through how to do that. If you are confused, then check in the article linked in the description box down below where I discuss how you can download Notion. When you have signed in, then you will get a page that looks something like this. Notion gives you a getting started page and some other pages on the left hand side. You can read through these if you want. However, I'm going to be explaining everything anyway, so don't feel like you have to. The first thing I want you to do is go onto the left hand side and click add a page. This will create a brand new page in Notion. A page is essentially the basic building block of Notion. In your desktop, you have different folders and folders within folders. These are how pages work in Notion. You can have a page. For example, I'm going to title this first page. And then within this page, I can create another page. All I have to do is type in slash page and then straight away I have another page within that page. It's like a folder within a folder. If I click in the top left hand side, then I can go back to where I was and you can see this page which I've created. It's important to understand what a page is as a lot of Notion relies on you using different pages. So now we've created a page here. It's called Untitled. However, if I click on it now, I can change the title of the page. At the top, I can say Task Manager. And if I go back to my first page, you can see that it's changed the title of the page. A unique thing about Notion is that you can make and design it how you like. You can add icons to different pages. So for example, I can change this icon and I can maybe make it into a note. I can also do that for this first page. If I hover over it, you get these different options. Add icon, add cover add comment. So let's say we add an icon. I don't like this one that it's come up with, so I can always just edit it. And I like this computer icon here. I can also add a cover image and I can click change cover to change it to whatever I like. Clicking unsplash allows you to search a bunch of images. So I want this to be a waterfall and this one looks quite beautiful. So I'm going to select that one. You can see that I've already customized it to my own unique look. Note that all of these changes are just aesthetic and they're not necessary. You don't have to do any of these. The next thing that you need to know is if you look here, you can see type slash for commands. I've already done this when I showed you how to create a new page. But if I do it again and I select slash, you can see all the different options which come up. I can create a new page. I can create a to-do list. I can create a heading, bulleted list, and much more. Some of these will be familiar for you. For example, a numbered list is like you would see in any other note taking app. The other things would be a bit less familiar. So if I type in slash again, then you can see your to-do list and heading. A to-do list, if you select it, comes up with this square box, which you can click and it ends up being ticked. If you click again, it ends up being unticked. You can use this to-do list to make a to-do list. So for example, let's say you want to make a shopping list. So you want to get banana, 
Apple. And then once you're gone shopping, you can cross these off your list. There's also headings. Headings are essentially different sized fonts. So what I mean by that is if, if I click heading one, then this is large text. Pressing enter brings me back to the normal text. I can make heading two, and this is slightly smaller. And then it goes back to normal text. And then I can create a heading three, and this is smallest. Now, if I get rid of all of these, I can show you some simple examples that you can use as a student to help you get started with Notion. What I want you to do is make a home page. So I'm going to actually edit this and make it into a home page. I can then change this icon into a home. And you know what? I'm going to change this cover image to a more homely look. And this one looks pretty nice. I can reposition this because I don't like how this looks here so that I can see the top of it. There's three different things that I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to show you how to make your notes. I'm going to show you how to make a to-do list. And I'm going to show you how you can organize your classes and lectures. Let's start with your notes. I'm going to create this into a new page by double clicking and turning it into a page. If I select the notes, then it comes up with this new page. The main thing with your notes is that when you're in lectures, you tend to typically write down what the lecturer is saying. So for example, let's say I'm in one of my medical school lectures in cardiology, then the lecturer might be talking about heart failure. So I might write down heart failure is where the heart cannot pump enough blood to the body. Now, when I look at this note, I'm not really using any effort. There's this theory of active recall and space repetition, which I have a video on, which you can check out. And it says that if you test yourself, then that's going to be the best way of revising. And therefore, a good way of studying in Notion is to use something called the toggle feature. So as you know, if you press slash, then it comes up with this list. I can actually type anything. So I'm going to type in toggle and it reduces the list down to what I've typed. I've typed in toggle and therefore the toggle list comes up. So I'm going to select toggle list. And I'm actually going to write a question and say, what is heart failure? The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop this into that toggle. And as you can see, it disappears. If I select this toggle, you can see it reappears here. And I've essentially created a flashcard. Now, when I go and review my notes in the future, then I'll see this question, what is heart failure? And I should take a few seconds to think about what the answer is. And then... I can reveal what's hidden underneath. And if I think that I got the question right, then what I can do is I can click this button on the left hand side and I can change the text into a green text. And this will say that I've got this question right. And then let's say there's another question which I got wrong. So let's say when reviewing my notes, I get this question wrong. Then what I can do is I can change it into a red color. By color coding the notes like this, you can get a quick idea of what questions you're constantly getting wrong and what questions you're always getting right. And this is a very simple way of writing your notes in Notion. The toggles can be separated via headings. So for example, let's say these are my cardiology notes. Then I can have one heading. So I'm going to select heading two, just because I like the size of it. And I'm going to say that all of these toggles are on heart failure. And then I'm going to have another section where I have all of my notes on atrial fibrillation. You could also create separate pages for these if you have way too many questions which turn up. So for example, for heart failure, rather than creating a section like this, I can turn this into a page and then put all of my toggles in this page. You can do whatever works for you. So now let's go back and make a to-do list. So I've turned this into a page and I'm gonna make a simple to-do list. Let's start off by saying that I want a section for what I want to do today. I'm going to create a to-do list. And then all of my things that I want to do today, I can write down here. So let's say these are all the things I want to do today. What I can do, just for easiness sake, is I'm going to copy this, pressing Control-C or Command-C, and I'm going to paste this. Then I'm going to move this onto the right-hand side. As you can see, the formatting is a bit strange here, but it's really easy to fix. 
And all you do is you just highlight these and you put it under today. Now I've made two columns, one for everything I want to do today and one for everything I want to do tomorrow. What you can then do is you can create a new page called archived pages. Go back and then at the end of every day, after you've ticked everything off, you can then move this into the archived page. And then everything you have to do tomorrow, you can move to today. Of course, this is an extremely simple to-do list. You can make it a lot more complex. But as I said, this is a beginner's guide and just to get you comfortable with using Notion. So I suggest you start off with this and then move on from here. Going back to the home page, the final thing that we're going to discuss is how you can organize your classes and lectures. So again, making this into a new page. I open the page. Now I'm going to introduce you to a new block called table block. So just type in table. And this first table which comes up is the one that we're going to be using. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to name the table classes. So then I'm going to write down all the classes that I have. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to make tags. If you imagine a tag in real life, a tag is where you attach something to something else. For example, you tag your luggage when you go to the airport. This is so that you know that that luggage belongs to you. You can identify the luggage based on the tag. That is essentially what a tag is in Notion. I can create different tags to identify or to distinguish what this chemistry class is. So for example, let's say I have this class on Monday. I select enter and I've created this new tag of Monday. Let's say I have anatomy on Monday as well. Then you can see this tag which I've already created has popped up here. I select it and now you can see that both chemistry and anatomy are both on Monday. So let's say I have biology on Tuesday. Now that I know when my classes are going to be, I'm going to create a new column by selecting add. I'm going to change the type to a date. And now I'm actually going to change the name of this into exam. Because this column is going to list when my exams will be. So let's say my exam for chemistry is next week. Then I can create this date for December the 10th. And I can do the same for anatomy. So let's say it's on the 21st. And let's say this biology is in January. So now at a glance, I know when the exams will be. I do suggest that you get used to using tables as tables are one of the best things about Notion. If you've watched this far into the video, then I'd really appreciate if you give me a like. If you want more videos about Notion where I go into a bit more depth, then let me know in the comment section down below.